tell me there's still coffee. Langston, didn't Dorian teach you it's appropriate to offer congratulations to the happy couple? Show me a happy couple, I'll be all over them. Langston, I know it's been kind of crazy here ever since you came here to live, yeah, but, but... don't worry about worry. it because it'll just get worse. You okay? Well, Cole hasn't texted me back. Sorry, but... I mean, are you okay about your grandmother and him? She looks happy to me. Isn't that the meds? Isn't that Dorian's ex? I mean, she must be freaking out. Bonjour, bonjour. And a very special good morning to our two lovebirds. Madam Delfina, this is my sister Addie. Oh. And her new husband, David Vickers. I thought a unique gift for a unique couple would be a psychic reading from one of the world's greatest. Oh, well, I try. Uh huh. Uh, let me guess. You predict doom and gloom in our future. Let me guess. You're precognitive, too. I don't know what that means, but I can read Dorian's mind. And I know she paid you off and told you what to say, right? Oh, no. I did pay a substantial amount, well worth it, uh, for a couple's reading. So. Shall we begin, Madame Delfina? Tell my sister and her new husband what their future holds. Sit. Give me your hand. Wow, look at that lifeline. Is it long? Tell me, why did you wear the blue breeze today instead of the customary leopard print? You told her to say that. I did not. Dorian must have overheard me asking you to wear the blue. It, it shows off his eyes. Oh, enough about that. Back on my lifeline. Madame Delfina, could we get back on track? Oh. <clears throat> if you two stay married, I see... Death. Destruction. Misery. Doom. And a happy couple perfect together laughing through life. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry, I just couldn't do it. You were right. She paid me to give a false reading, which is karmically uncool. So what can I say? Mm -hmm. The truth came out. I'm more psychic than she is. Oh. Delfina, get out. I can't. The way's blocked. Someone's coming in. That's a pretty good one. So who is it? It's, um, you. <laughs> I could have done better than that. Mm. What is this? Another wedding gift? Now we assumed he's yours. Why? His name is David Vickers. Who else but you would name anyone after you? Uh -oh. I've never seen that rat before in my life. <laughs> he's almost as adorable as his namesake. Dory, can we keep him? Oh, sure, Addie. What's another stray in this house? Let's go see if Coco will whip him up a treat. <laughs> Natalie, Jared, you brought the dog. Thank you. You can leave. And you too, Delphina. Command of the castle, as usual. <sighs> My sister's husband is dead because of what you did. Are you happy now? Logic only a Buchanan could come up with. What did you do to Pamela to make her turn on me? Absolutely nothing. You said you loved my dad, and then you destroyed his company, our family, and my sister's life. And there's no blood on your hands? I could never have turned Buchanan Enterprises into Kramer Enterprises without your help. I mean, was it my idea to pass off Jared to the world as Asa Buchanan's long-lost son? Asa Buchanan's long-lost son. Delfina, why are you still here? Asa Buchanan's long-lost son is right here in this room. Okay, who are you exactly? Asa Buchanan's son is not in this room. Really? Fun. Win some, you lose some. <laughs> Whew. Well, what is it? Whew. What's wrong, Delfina? Delfina? It's not Delfina. It's Mel. Whoa, Nelly. It's Mel, Dorian. Tell me, how can you live with yourself after what you've done? 
Well, that's what Dorian did. Mel. You beg for my forgiveness. Now, if you want it, you will tell them what you did. What the hell is going on here? Well, apparently, the ghost of Dorian's nasty past has come back to draw a line in the sand. So out with it, Mrs. Scrooge. Confess, Dorian. Stop it, Mel! Who's Mel? What happened? Delphina, you need to learn how to break character a little more believably. If you're not going to get out of here, I will. Further, I demand a refund. Refund? <laughs> I guess she doesn't have too much confidence in the future of B.E. or C.E. if she's already counting her pennies. Well, you're right about that. You don't really believe this crap, do you? <laughs> speaking of... Yeah, speaking of, I have a question I'd like the answer to. Do you know whose dog that is? Well, the name tag says David Vickers. I'm guessing somebody who thinks you're a dog. Yeah, it's going to be pretty tough to narrow that one down. I'm seeing... P. Ew, where? Get that rat out of here. The letter P. Like... P princess. Well, he certainly is a princess. He wouldn't touch anything except ground filet mignon on a silver platter. I'm calling him Princess David Vickers. From now on. Enjoy the dog. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but he's not Al trained. No one knows the truth about David except maybe her. Are you kidding me? She's as funny as a three dollar bill. Can you tell me anything about this rat? You mean other than the fact that he needs to relieve himself? Okay, let's go. Can I... Can I ask you something? Blakeson, are you kidding me? About your parents? I don't know what I believe about the afterlife and stuff, but... If I could just know that my parents were somewhere... They're with you... Langsy. Langsy? That's what my dad used to call me. Only him. He knew it drove me crazy, but he did it anyway. I never told anyone that. They want you to know that you're not alone. I know I'm not alone. I have Star and Marco and Dorian. No, that's not what they mean. What do you think they mean? Just... Don't forget what they said. Is that it? Yes. No. Am I really showing that much? There's something terribly wrong. With my baby? 